So let's look at a couple of ideas for activities in science that we can do linked to the theme of winter. And if you're lucky enough to have some snow in school at the moment, activities that we can do with snow. One thing children are probably wondering at the moment is why do we put salt on the roads? What's it actually doing? Um, so here's an investigation with um, some snow, or if you haven't got snow, you could use crushed ice or ice cubes. Um, in the filter funnels and I'm going to add some salt, ordinary salt to a couple of them so I'll add one spoonful to one, see what effect that has on the ice and I'll add two spoonfuls to the next. And we talked last video about when it's appropriate to do a fair test and this is an appropriate time to do a fair test because we want to only be changing the amount of salt keeping everything else the same. So I can now add some rock salt which is the grit that we put on the roads, one spoonful to this snow and two spoonfuls to this one. And while we're waiting for something to happen let's look at another activity, winter themed activity we could do. Got a sample of real snow here for children to be able to make some observations about to be able to feel it and see if they can uh, crush it, see what happens and squeeze it together. And then I've got some instant snow which seems to be every toy shop has got uh, this time of year has got available. Do warn children not to eat it otherwise it's not toxic. So we can put a spoonful into a cup well, let's put two spoonfuls in since we've got a big cup and add some water. Oh, our salt started to do its work. So, with children, encourage them to do this quite slowly, make their observations, see what happens. Let's have a little bit more. And when we've made our instant snow by adding water, Then for children to have a think about, well let's just add a little bit more water there. How is this different then to the real snow? So again to get a handful of it and hold it and see what it feels like and to squeeze it and see if they can make it into a snowball, which it doesn't really seem to hold together and of course it isn't melting on my hand so for children to talk about how the instant snow, although it's called instant snow, it isn't actually snow at all. And how do its properties, how are they different to the real thing? Um, those of you interested in what instant snow actually is, it's the same super absorbent uh, material that they put in babies' nappies that, that absorbs the water. Right, let's have a look at our results of our investigation. And we've only had a minute for something to happen. Cameraman, can you see any results there? Can you see anything? Yes, we can. You can see the normal salt seems to be making the snow melt faster at the moment than the rock salt. We maybe can think about why that might be. And we did keep one of the um, funnels with the salt just on its own so we had something to compare it to. Now I'd love to know what sorts of things you're doing making the most of the snow and making the most of the idea of a winter based activities in science so it would be great to hear from you if you want to send me your ideas for um, winter activities for us to share with everyone.